Hawk, the legend of the Serpent King. Once upon a time, there lived a good and fair king named Murdos. Murdos had a son, Prince Sahak, who was not at all like the good and fair king. One day, Zahark encountered a wizard who was really the devil Iblis in disguise. With all seven kingdoms. But first, you must do away with your father. But one day, the devil returned. This time, Iblis disguised himself as a chef. And as soon as his lips had touched each of the king's shoulders, he vanished. As two large, vicious serpents sprang forth from his shoulders. Ruled as a tyrant over the seven realms for one thousand years. One night, King Zahak had an ominous dream. A mysterious young soldier raised a golden mace in the shape of an ox head and struck a blow to his head. One day, a soothsayer intoned, a man named Feridun from the land of Persia will rise up against you. On the orders of the king, the soldiers burned everything and slaughtered the animals, including Arne, the beautiful cow that had lovingly nourished Feridun. I am Kaveh, a simple blacksmith. I work hard to feed my family, but I have no duty to feed your serpents. He hoisted his blacksmith's apron upon a lance and shouted for everyone who is angry with King Zahak to follow him, who was said to be endowed with the royal halo. Feridun asked Kaveh to make a steel mace that could break magic spells. Kaveh forged it in the shape of an ox's head. Feridun plunged straight into the turbulent river on his mighty steed. The entire army followed him through the deep, angry waters all the way to the other side. Enraged, he led his army through the castle gates. Feridun poised to deliver a second blow and end King Zahak's life. But just then, the angel Sarush appeared and told the young warrior to spare the defeated king. imprisoned in the deepest cave inside Mount Elbors, where he remained until the end of his days. Eridun was crowned king of the seven kingdoms. 